Hi folks, here's another chapter 4 problem and inclined planes, here goes a toboggan slides down a hill and has a constant velocity. The angle of the hill is 8 degrees with respect to the horizontal. What is the coefficient of kinetic friction between the surface of the hill and the toboggan? So here's our inclined plane. Um, here is my wee little toboggan. Let's draw the forces on my toboggan. Uh, force of gravity is downward. Normal force is upward. There's no mention of any sort of uh, push or pull involved, but there is of course friction and friction opposes motion. The toboggan is going to be sliding down the hill, so friction will act up the hill. So friction goes up. Normal force, of course, is the supporting force of the surface. And our desire is always to get our forces in a XY pattern parallel and perpendicular to that incline. So I am going to break the force of gravity vector into parallel and perpendicular components and make a right triangle right there. If this is an 8 degree angle here, that means that is an 8 degree angle there. Now we have to break these vectors up, so we might as well do it right away. Um, the force parallel to the incline, this is this component of the force of gravity. This is the opposite side of this vector triangle right here. So this is going to be the force of gravity times the, since it's opposite, we're going to use sine, times the sine of theta. And in this vector, this is going to be the force perpendicular, so this will be the force of gravity times the cosine of theta. We are told the toboggan slides down the hill and has a constant velocity. Now, does it say anything in here about the mass of the toboggan? It does not. So if there is no mass given in a problem, you carry m for the mass through as a variable and it will most likely fall out of the equation. So we're going to do that. So force of gravity, this is going to be mass times the acceleration of gravity times the cosine of 8 degrees and the force parallel is going to be mass times the acceleration of gravity times the sine of 8 degrees and that's going to be my forces parallel and my forces perpendicular. Those aren't final answers, but they're going to be useful. Okay, next thing that we're after is we want to know what's the coefficient of kinetic friction between the surface and the toboggan. So my big unknown here is mu. That's what we're after. We are going to sum the forces parallel to the incline, and we're going to sum the forces perpendicular to the incline. As we always do, we're going to ask in each one of these it does do the sum of the forces equal 0 or ma. Parallel to the incline, parallel to this incline, do the forces equal 0 or ma. Well, constant velocity. Newton's first law says if the vector sum of the forces on an object equal 0, it's moving at a constant velocity. So if something's moving at a constant velocity, we know those forces equal 0. Perpendicular to the incline, those forces equal zero. It's not falling through the incline. It's not being rocketed above the incline. So those equal zero. So what does that tell us? That tells us that the forces up are going to equal the forces down. And that means the forces pulling us down the incline are going to be equal to the forces pre preventing us from going down the incline. So our ups equal our downs and the downslope and the upslope forces will be equal. So now we can go ahead and make our equations. So force parallel. This is going to be the force down the incline. Our parallel down the incline force is going to be equal to my up the incline force, my force of friction. And perpendicular is going to be my normal force up the incline is going to be equal to my force perpendicular right there. Now that we have our basic equations, we can expand upon these and put in what we know. So force parallel we found is this. So I'm going to shove that in for force parallel. Mass times acceleration of gravity times the sine of 8 degrees is going to equal my friction force. Well, friction force we know is mu times normal force. 
and we're looking for mu. That's my holy grail. That's the thing I'm after this equation. My normal force is going to be equal to the force perpendicular, and force perpendicular we found up here is that. So I'm going to shove that in for that. So that's going to be equal to mass acceleration of gravity cosine of 8 degrees. And I'm going to just pull all this down, give myself a little more room to work. Let's just see what we can do next. Well, I now know normal force equals all of this, so I'm going to replace all of this for normal force in that equation. So I'm going to have mass, acceleration of gravity, sine of 8 degrees equals mu times mass, acceleration of gravity, cosine 8 degrees. I'm looking for mu, so to solve for mu, get this alone on one side of the equation. I'm going to divide both sides by mass, acceleration of gravity, cosine of 8 degrees. And if you do it on one side of the equation, please do it on the other. Mass, acceleration of gravity, cosine of 8 degrees. These will cancel. On this side, mass cancels, gravity cancels, and I'm going to end up with mu is going to be the sine of 8 degrees divided by the cosine of 8 degrees. Now I'm ready to pick up my calculator. So the sine of 8 degrees divided by the cosine of 8 degrees, and I end up with a coefficient of friction of 0 0.141. Not bad at all. That one was not bad. A couple little tricky bits, but uh, very solvable. All right, see you later.